phase process for the manufacturing of sodium carbonate. The apparatus used in the Solvay process is shown on the frame. Manufacturing of sodium carbonate using Solvay process involves the following steps. Firstly, about 30% brine solution is pumped into ammonia absorber. A mixture of ammonia and a small amount of carbon dioxide is bubbled through the brine solution so that it gets saturated with ammonia. The impurities of magnesium or calcium salts, if present in brine, are precipitated as their carbonates. The ammoniated brine is filtered through the filter as shown to remove the precipitates of calcium and magnesium carbonate. Then in the second step, the ammoniated brine is introduced from the top of a tower known as carbonation tower. It is packed with a number of horizontal perforated plates, each having a hole covered by a perforated plate. In this tower, carbon dioxide is admitted from the base of the tower, which rises through the small perforations. The brine solution slowly trickles down and meets the upgoing vapors of carbon dioxide to form insoluble sodium bicarbonate. In the third step, the milky solution from the carbonation tower is filtered with the help of rotary vacuum pump to separate sodium bicarbonate. The filtrate containing ammonium chloride and small amount of ammonium bicarbonate is pumped to the top of the ammonia recovery tower. Then, sodium bicarbonate recovered from the carbonation tower is heated strongly, calcined, in a kiln to form sodium carbonate. The filtrate in step 3, containing ammonium chloride and ammonium bicarbonate, is mixed with calcium hydroxide and heated with steam in ammonia recovery tower with calcium hydroxide. The ammonia, along with a small amount of carbon dioxide, is pumped to the top of the brine saturation tower, as shown in the animation.